So I've spent a month with the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. We're talking about some things that I love, some things that I don't like too much, and then we're gonna help you make a purchasing decision. Is this laptop right for you or wrong for you? Now, this laptop is still one of the best performing laptops that I have seen on my channel this year. I've reviewed many laptops since this one has come out on my channel and it still holds the top of the charts for some of the most important benchmarks. Now taking a look at DaVinci Resolve, you can see that we have a three minute and 55 second export time out of this laptop. Absolutely incredible. Taking a look at 8K B-RAW, this is a new test that I am running. You can see we drop 8,530 frames at 8K B-RAW and for 8K red footage, 7,266. Now this might sound like a lot of drop frames and it is, but compared to this 6K B-RAW test that we were seeing from 2022, we were seeing laptops drop that many frames on 6K. So now that we're moving into 8K and this laptop is handling it fairly well, I can say that you could edit 8K footage on the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. However, I would not highly recommend it yet. There's still a little bit of a ways away. Maybe if you upgraded to 64 gigs of RAM, you could decrease the drop frames. If you have this laptop and you are editing 8K, B-RAW, or RED footage, comment below and let me know how it's going for you. The 6K export time is the best export time I've seen on my channel. For 6K, B-RAW, nine minute clip out of Premiere Pro, 11 minutes and 43 seconds, an absolutely killer export time. It's even beating out the Asus Republic of Gamers Strix Scar 17 with the Ryzen 9 7945HX and RTX 4090 GPU. And this laptop here is about a thousand dollars more affordable compared to that Strix Scar. That's what's up. Taking a look at 3D modeling, Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, and PTC Creo are really solid on this laptop. Honestly though, there have been some laptops that are better than this one. So as far as 3D modeling is concerned, this isn't the best you can get. Even the Slim 7i on a few of these benchmarks, as you can see in the results, has beat out the Pro 7i, which was interesting, I thought. However, looking at After Effects and Photoshop, still one of the top performers out of the laptops I've tested so far this year. So from a performance standpoint, this thing is stellar. I love that this laptop has an aluminum top cover, aluminum keyboard deck, and an aluminum bottom cover, as well as the really nifty RGB lighting along the front side of the keyboard deck. Keep in mind, however, if you wanna get a more affordable version of this laptop, you can go ahead and get the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i, and that'll save you a few hundred dollars. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the Pro 7i, the Pro 5i, I'll put links in the description below. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, battery life is one of those areas that I'm not stoked about for the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. You can see the results coming up on the screen. You get about seven hours of productivity and streaming video playback, about five hours of Photoshop work, and about three hours of video editing. So it is good, but it's just not great. I really hoped you would see better results. Now, another area that I'm not stoked about is the fact that they put this plastic band around the chassis. I, I just think that this could be aluminum. I mean, it's the premium version of the laptop. All the other materials are very nice, sturdy aluminum materials. And then they threw this plastic band on there. I just think it's a little on the cheap side. I, I just wasn't stoked about it, especially since this is their Pro 7i. It's their you know more premium of the Legion lineup. I thought a nice touch would have been to make those aluminum and not plastic. Another thing I wish they would have done is done two USB-C ports here instead of a USB type A and a USB-C because along the back panel, we have an additional two USB type A's. And then on the right side panel, we have another USB type A. So we end up having four USB type A's and two USB type C's. I think three and three would have made a little bit more sense from a user standpoint. Now, speaking of the usability of this laptop, the upgrade path is fantastic. You have two M.2 slots, one occupied, one unoccupied when the laptop ships, and two RAM slots that are swappable. Now this laptop comes with 32 gigs of RAM, but you could easily open up and upgrade to 64 gigs of RAM. Another amazing part of this laptop is going to be the bright screen. This laptop has a screen brightness about 537 nits with a 100% sRGB, 80% Adobe RGB, and 80% DCI-P3, all at a Delta E of 0.73.
Now, one area I'll continue to complain about, of course, is the small trackpad when there's more space for a larger trackpad. Please, one day, Lenovo, make a Legion with a larger trackpad. It would just make me happy and probably a lot of other creators. I know gamers really don't care a lot because they have a mouse and they can just use their mouse. However, if you're on the go with this laptop, having a larger trackpad would be nice just to kind of function around a little bit easier, but they haven't changed it. It's still a great laptop. It's just one of those things that always is a burn in my saddle. Now the Legion series itself has fantastic performance, whether you're looking at the Legion Slim 7i, the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i or the Pro 7i, they're all great. The big advantage to the 7 series is the aluminum chassis. So if you're looking for a little bit more performance with that i9 processor, and an aluminum chassis with some fancy RGB lighting on the front of your laptop, then the Pro 7i is fantastic. However, you're still gonna get a great bang for buck out of the Pro 5i. So that's where my decision more sits. Do you want the premium Pro 7i or do you want the more budget-friendly Pro 5i? Because otherwise, this laptop really has what it takes for the performance, usability, and build quality that users are looking for. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase and click right up the screen here for more videos about the Pro 7i. I'll see you in the next one.